Okay, good afternoon to all of you. Thank you, Jagan, for the introduction. And Sudha, thank you very much for a fantastic presentation. You, I think you highlighted a lot of things on the insurance sector, which otherwise is not known to the people and is good to know about FinTech as well. Now, I think as Sudha has told that the digital has actually made life very easy for people. Okay. And it has actually brought a whole spectrum of people who are otherwise not covered in the commerce or business got involved because of the digital. Now, there are a umpteen number of technologies in digital, as uh, Sudha pointed out a couple of them. Today, I'll be touching upon one of the technology, which is video. Now, she, she I think, you know, at many a times mentioned about something called uh, uh, apps or applications. Okay. Or even she also mentioned about geo. Okay. Now, digital is one thing, which I think I'll be going to touch upon it and show some of the areas where we can really use digital, which is a very strong driving force for making the uh, you know, uh, experience far, far better as compared to the other technologies. So I'll, I'll just run through a short presentation, maybe of 10, 15 minutes, show some of the things of how video can actually help to improve the customer experience okay, in the digital world. Let me share my screen. So is it more uh, DJ like uh, switching on the video or not switching on the video of the panelists? Uh, definitely coming on a video gives a much better uh, connect and uh, interaction experience. Uh, we have told all the panelists to please come on uh, video. Correct. Yeah. So I think I think uh, uh, a panelist can come on the video even if the panelists they uh, switch you know switch off the video, but what I want to say now today, like when you when you have a webinar like this, and if the panelists on the video, you already see the difference. Like we have been seeing audio conference for ages. People have been talking, and you really do not know how the other person is working or talking. But today, when we are talking of a video, I think the whole experience is vastly enhanced. And this, this, there has been a lot of, you know, transition in the experience of video, like people are talking of a, something like a virtual reality and all. But when you come to the live video, which is, I think, the concept that we will be talking in terms of a technology, it will, uh, everyone hopes it will drastically change the customer experience. Now, I have a short presentation. Is it uh, visible to all a slide showing rich call? No, you're not sure it. Okay. Okay, is it yeah. shared yes. now? Yeah. Okay. You can do the slide show. Ah, yeah. yeah. Fine. So what we are talking today is a product from Aorus. I think as Jagan gave a very brief introduction of what is Aorus, we are typically a pure play technology products company, okay, based out of Europe. Alexander is the current CEO of Aorus, okay, and he has a role to show the product live maybe in uh, five, 10 minutes where you can really see how, you know, in true life, when we talk of video, a lot of people think it is very expensive, it is very complex, it is uh, difficult to deploy. So uh, actually Alexander will show how simple or easy it is actually on a video and how how much of a you know real feel you get out of it so very short about uh, auras what we are we are a cisco uh, solution vendor so we offer a lot of solution like a call recording quality management for contact centers on cisco platforms this is our live video expert software called rich call and we also offer something which is an outbound solution just to reach out to customers over a phone now the first question comes why video? Like Sudha told uh, apps, okay. I think apps is the first thing that uh, you need to get onto digital because without the apps, nothing can be done. Now, uh, there's a slightly older statistics as per 2020, 14.1% of all global retail sales were e-commerce sales. So you can imagine the amount of market share that the e-commerce sales have actually taken from a physical sales, which is 14.1%, okay? 
and there are around 1.92 billion digital shoppers doing 19 transaction on an average per year so if you look at it this is almost 35 to 36 billion transaction per year globally in the year 2020 and what we are saying this is growing at the rate of 40 to 45 percent on a yearly basis so you can imagine the volume of digital transactions okay we are e-commerce transactions which is going to happen now there are many challenges it's easy to say okay uh, or it is you know very pertinent that you should have good apps but it is very difficult to manage this kind of huge amounts of transactions digitally so as per microsoft okay microsoft is supposed to be one of the company which is handling the largest number of retails with technology products they say 90 percent of consumers they say customer service is one of the most important factors for creating brand loyalty. Now, why brand loyalty is so important when we are talking of a business through digital or e-commerce? You know, this reason is you don't see anything. You do not know the genuinity of the price. Okay, there are AIs, there are comparisons, there are blogs, everything. But still, unless you have a, you trust the brand, you are not going to do a transaction. So brand loyalty is important and 95% customers, they say customer service is important to create a brand loyalty. So how do you create a you know, customer service when you are on a digital platform? The challenge that most of the digital platform, a lot of people actually come to the site with the you know, uh, intention of doing a business, but they leave the site without doing a business. The conversion doesn't happen. Reason being, the buyer or a person who is were, want to do transaction is either confused or he has a doubt. So what, what is the solution? Because you are spending so much of a money to create a portal, you are creating an e-commerce platform, then the people coming and you are not getting the business. So the video, what it does, by building a connection with the online shopper, you create a video capability. So whenever there is a shopper on your e-commerce platform or a site, you allow them to create a live video with your customer service representatives. So what it gives, it, it cre uh, clears the confusion or the doubt the customer has got immediately. So the customer is more likely to stay or stick on to the site for a longer period and maybe build a trust because which is very difficult to create a trust on a digital and will get into a conversion. So you create a brand, you create a brand loyalty, you clear the customer confusion or customer doubt, and you also build a customer empathy because they talk to people who are most trustworthy and you feel fine, okay, now I can do a business with that. So this is the power of a video which otherwise is difficult to provide on an online business. Now, what are the businesses which typically benefits from video? I think insurance, Sudha told a lot about insurance. So something what you can do is an online registration and video identification. Today we know, okay, uh, most of the things are on app, you upload a file, you upload your Aadhaar card, PAN card, and you may be clicking a photo but when you are actually doing a live video and doing a video identification things become much more authentic and easier then claim assessment by experts now today uh, let's take a typical case of your car met with an accident the typical thing they will say okay take it to one of the garage and our uh, inspector will come or assessor will come and inspect the car eliminate those steps your car is, uh, you know, damaged or it is uh, has met with an accident. You call up a uh, video agent using Rich Call. Video agent can directly make a on-the-spot assessment in which angle the car has hit, which exactly which part has got damage, and everything using the drivers or whoever was there in the car, his phone, mobile phone camera. So immediately, you know. And we know, you know, what happens, you take the car, car, car to the garage, garage will replace 10 other things and then it will offer it for the uh, photo survey. 
but all those things can immediately be eliminated and the entire claim assessment or damage assessment can be done by experts right at the spot of the accident. On online financial advisor, this is in the finance side. Okay, today, uh, if we see there's a retail investment has increased heavily in a country like India. A lot of people are playing in shares, mutual funds and all these things. And there is a lot of financial, okay, people use many applications. They use credit, they use a lot of uh, other applications and see a lot of financial advisors. But if you have a financial advisor who talks uh, on a video with you, understands your short-term goal, long-term goal, appetite for uh, returns, then you get a much more confidence in investing. Then the property loan valuation, say uh, a typical process in a property loan in a situation like a metro city is, a uh, bank will ask two valuer to assess the property, go there, visit there, click all the photographs, measure the you know dimensions and all that. You can do everything over a video, live video. So you can get the external view, inside views, everything over a video. Online ID verification, as I already told you, the way you do it, you can actually do online ID verification for say your identity, your address. You want to see the you know entrance of the house or entrance of the office, everything you can do it. Then the video kiosk to cut the size of the bank branches. Now today, bank branches are becoming very expensive because of the property cost, uh, non-availability of the secured spaces and all that. So you can actually, and your reach, you are not able to expand too much into the rural sector or semi-urban sector. Video kiosk is one such thing. With the internet becoming more easily available with a reliable uh, quality, you can actually get onto a video kiosk and bring your branches close to your consumers. On the retail front, it's a remote shopping assistance like, uh, there is a there is a statistics that you know when you are actually on a catalog shopping online catalog shopping a lot of people get confused that they don't uh, buy because they are not able to identify which product so when you actually need a shopping assistance and which typically you provide when someone actually reaches a store or somewhere so this is exactly the similar kind of service you can provide over a video Okay, same things, you can uh, extend your products through a kiosk. In an automobile, the classic case is uh, uh, all the big cities have a typical problem of traffic jams. So you cannot, you know, there is a good car being launched. You really do not have enough time to go to the showroom to see the car. You can see the exactly car, not through a uh, virtual reality, but a, actually a salesman showing the car to you over a live video. So he is in the showroom, you are maybe driving or something, you make a call and over a live video, see the entire car, how the dashboard looks like, how the steering wheel looks like, how your you know back seat looks like everything. Now service inspection before delivery of service car. In India, uh, it is not with uh, high-end cars or low-end cars, all car manufacturers and their customers have one common problem that I gave my car for a service, but it was not serviced well. I'm not talking of a service well in terms of a technical, maybe, you know, engine side and all they do. It was not washed well. There were stains on the dashboard. There were, no, you know, bumpers were not clean. This was not clean. And this you realize when you reach the service center, inspect the car after waiting for 30 minutes and you find these defaults. Now, your entire car can be inspected over a live video. So before you reach the service station or in a service center, you can actually inspect your car thoroughly and see that the car is properly serviced before it is being delivered. Then the other use case is, you know, you have some sophisticated equipments. Okay, you, you generally sell a lot of sophisticated equipments across the city, maybe urban side, these equipments are well serviced because of the network of engineers, remote sites. They talk of a TAT, which is three days and four days because you don't have experts. So with the live video, a you know lower level technician can actually do the servicing of a sophisticated equipment with the help of an expert who may be sitting in a metro city. 
similar thing and this is very important typically not only for normal mechanical or production equipment it is very very critical for your hospital equipments now hospital equipments are extremely sophisticated and today rural health we know the you know status of rural health in india most of the rural hospitals may have the equipments but 50% of the times of the equipments are out of order the reason being the engineer has to fly from the main city or from metro cities and check the equipment now rural health service can improve heavily if you use this kind of a service and you can say fine i have a very ordinary technician but i have an expert who actually can assist this guy who is at a rural hospital to replace the part or rectify the part and do everything so the whole thing the life the way we are lead, living will change with the video service so i'll now quickly run through what are the top cases where video service is being used and done it i have already gone through it so and how it works so one is a video chat so the screen okay the screen here is typically what your experts will get okay your customer will uh, call up and there is an expert the lady is an uh, expert and the expert can actually give you every information over a chat can send you a document let's say i am doing a shopping say you know uh, financial services site i need something i say fine okay i want to go through your standard terms and condition for say auto loan so this you know expert can immediately send the auto loan or i can say okay i am uh, actually stuck on your website i am not able to get something expert can navigate me where exactly to go on the website and download that okay the simple video chat and uh, you know everything over a video and i can also ask any question any document any form any catalog over this uh, video collaboration things okay so this is one thing like uh, here what we do you know you meet a customer and ask the customer uh, that today like we assume that everyone has a smartphone to you know that okay you you are on a site let's say you are on my company site and you want to see my product okay i have given all uh, photographs from all the angles but okay you say okay i want to really see the product so you make a video connection and my sales expert who may be at a showroom or a warehouse or maybe you know some a store near your house you know we can track the location and say fine okay so this particular product is available with us and i will show you the whole product over a phone it could be as simple a gas stove to a hair dryer to everything you know i want to see how how does it look like so it's a live video demonstration of the product okay and sometimes what happens okay i say fine i have uh, seen this product or i like this product but right now i just need to rush out for a meeting or work and i'll actually come back and see it. i can schedule a session with the customer and say send him a link he can click on the link and my sales expert or a you know demonstrator can show the entire product at the pre decided time okay we have a we have a uh, simple case study on this there is a very large company they deal with bathroom and plumbing shop okay so they it, it's basically they have a catalog of something like a 50000 and it is really difficult like even in uh, india also if you just go to someone's uh, some uh, bathroom fittings and fixtures and all that there are too many models available and it is very difficult so you only see maybe a store is keeping only the you know limited number of models and he will always push you to buy one out of them so it's a huge catalog so and people really get confused what suits my bathroom you know, what size what color what background what are the other fittings so this company started this so whenever you are on the website there are uh, consultant who comes on the video and you know helps them to choose you the right product for you out of the catalog and the results is remarkable in just 3 months there is a 35% increase in average transaction value 
So like when you have been doing, you know, uh, taking a data of how much transactions you have been doing in three months, they could see a 35% increase. That means, I, you know, there, it is only because of two factors, the number of sales increases, as well as the total size of the sales increases. So both accounts for 35%, which is almost like a one third, more than one third increase in the transaction value and 20% increase in the conversion rate for online shoppers. Now, this is what is very, very important. You can do a lot of promotion to attract shoppers to your site, but you cannot force them to convert into sales. And today, you know, because the more and more people come to your site, obviously you have to increase your site resources and it is maintaining the cost and everything. But if you can increase even by 5% the conversion rate, your rate of return is tremendously improved. This is a, a case of a live visual support. Okay, now live visual support can work uh, for a customer as well as uh, towards a field service. Like, you know, there are many equipments we buy. You know, typical things could be a mobile phone. Like today, those days are gone when if your mobile phone is bad, you go to a company authorized showroom, which is one or two in the city and all that. Okay. So most of the things either is done by the local shops or, you know, there are company stores. So where, or there are gadgets which are not able to operate properly. So you call up and, you know, uh, even with a lot of companies who do not offer video, they will give you, okay, sir, you do this, you do this. And sometimes it is very confusing to understand what they are saying. So you call up, they actually show you and come on to a video link and they say exactly, sir, what you have to do on your device to get it uh, back to work or working. Similarly for the field service, when a field technician is not able to fix a problem, maybe, you know, you have a printer at home, it is not working and you are calling up, they say, sir, try this, try this and all that. But if it is on a video, maybe that same printer is get rectified in a, uh, at least a, uh, half of the time. So, so this is a uh, case study uh, of Philip Morris. Philip Morris International is uh, one of the leading brand, okay, of the tobacco products. Okay, they in India also they are present. And as uh, recently there has been a lot of you know restrictions on the tobacco you know, and all that and cigarette smoking. So they have introduced a product called Icos. Icos is a new brand which actually doesn't uh, burn the tobacco because burning tobacco is very harmful. So as per the United Nations guidelines and all, it actually heats the tobacco. So it is at a much lower temperature and it doesn't cause that much of a, you know, as per the WHO, uh, it is less uh, damaging than, uh, you know, burning tobaccos, which is done in the cigarettes. So they launch a lot of products and these products are all very new. And, you know, you know how, uh, what is the number of, you know, uh, cigarette smokers in the world and they are at all far-flung places. So there are various products and these products are in that price bracket where you cannot have a service center to bring these products. So these are all self-service products. So what they do, they do an online diagnostics a quick, easy way to identify problem and issue a refund. If the product doesn't work, they don't spend too much of a time. They simply give a refund for it. Okay. So that is why, uh, you know, Philip Morris is a name and it is a well-trusted name. The video chat with a customer support manager, they see the first hand, help make the correct choice and offer delivery services. So when I, I have a typical need, okay, I talk to them, they show me a couple of products and they say, fine, find this kind of tobacco and this region, this is the best product to buy. So it because it's a new product, people are not fully aware what product to buy. It helps tremendously in customer, uh, customer retention. So when you are a new product, the two things can happen. Product obviously will click, but there will be a lot of returns. So returns you manage or you rectify their initial teething problem. So your customer retention is increased. Then you save time by providing customer service over the internet. It's very difficult to bring the product to a center or go to the customer side. So you solve the problems and these are not very, very high cost product. Okay. So you do it over the internet and 5 site conversion rate boost in comparison to customer beside to shop without a consultant. Now, 
IQS is a brand of product. So there are many products of various types, okay, tobacco heating products. Now, and you really do not know, you are confused. So which one to buy? Because of this video, so that conversion, which is typically like when I go to the site and decide to buy, it actually go, went up by five times, which is very, very good. And maybe, you know, this kind of a uh, conversion is really unimaginable. Okay, then I'll come to another very important areas of uh, video, strong video presence is kiosk. Now, we have seen more or less a static kiosk where you go, press some buttons, you see some maps, typically it, have, you know, it is available at uh, tourist places, other places. So it is, it is basically, you, don't, you, know, uh, you replace an information counter kind of a thing with a kiosk, okay? And they are basically weatherproof and also you can keep it in the open, but uh, not more than that. So today we are talking of a next generation kiosk, which has embedded with a life expert station. Okay, so from the kiosk itself, I can actually talk to someone and get a life assistance, right? So, uh, so information kiosk is one thing, which is static. So we are not talking of that. We are saying, so extend that kiosk to a life expert and that with the help, with the help kind of a button, I can actually get onto a video session with someone. And if you see the screen here, okay, like this expert can actually tell me if let's say uh, I, am, I am actually carrying a product, which is a worldwide warranty. Okay. You know, there are many products in the world today, which gives you worldwide warranty. So I am, say I am in India, I bought the product in Europe and I am in a worldwide warranty. My product is not working because of anything, maybe the power socket or anything, you know, which can happen. So I go to that company's kiosk, click on this and this expert comes to me and they say, fine, okay, you are from India. What is it? This product is not working. It's on a worldwide warranty. So immediately she or he can tell me what is the fix for it or what is the immediate things. And if it is possible to fix, she will immediately fix the scheme as uh, thing itself, okay? So, and not only that, from the kiosk, I can actually, uh, if I am at a remote place, let's say I want to open an account, my bank is not available. And if I have a, you know, managed kiosk with a printer, I can actually get the form printed or any document downloaded and printed, everything I can do with a kiosk today. A case that uh, we are talking of, this is of a, you know, uh, Belarusian railway. It's a railway operator in Belarus. And they actually have a self-service kiosk in all the railway stations. And they started with a project and we did a project for them. So what exactly was it that, okay, obviously in India also, you will see some of the self-ticketing machines, especially for Delhi Metro, or Bombay locals, people are familiar, there are self-ticketing machines, but these are uh, dumb machines. You enter from this to this, put the coin, some machines re don't return the coin, some machines are only card based, whatever it is, but there are some forms of machines are there. So these are self-service kiosks with life assistance. So what it does, there are people who are not able to say, do get done everything through the kiosk. They call up this and when they call up, they got everything through a live assistant. So what all they get? So if, if they say, okay, fine, I need this thing, you know, and there are some people who may not be able to operate it well, senior citizen and stuff like this. So there will be people who will be in a video and they will exactly guide them to do that. So, so this is a typically a railway. So railways, you can actually say, fine, you have to do this. You have to show this. Someone may say, okay, I, I have a smart card, but I'm not able to use my smart card. So what basically has to be done? Okay. So every such things today, we can actually provide through a kiosk. So kiosk is basically taking your digital or a video technology to remote places. Otherwise, you know, you have to always open your laptop and desktop and there are different uh, profile of people who may not be carrying a laptop, especially in India. So kiosk helps you to extend your business to far from places, provide much bigger reach to a people and still provide the power of digital technology for a customer experience. 
right? So I have taken three cases and uh, maybe what I will do, I will actually uh, sum it up my presentation here and uh, give it to Alexander. He will just show briefly, uh, you know, how it exactly works. You know, we have talked so many things, but actually it's very simple when it actually comes to the real life. So benefits that digital can, you know, video can bring into digital is, in a sales, it can increase your order value, uplift in conversion as compared to an assisted, increase in first call resolution for customer support, and together, all this together, increase your average CSAT score. Okay, so with this, this ends, and this is typically, you know, our website. Okay, I'm showing our website. And on this website, we have a we have this button to invoke this rich call. So any website, your company's website, okay, your business website, your whatever a website you have got, it's a very simple way to invoke this rich call to start a video experience from there. So I will I will. Uh, now hand over to Alexander, we, who is from uh, Auros and is present CEO, and he will actually now show you how to uh, your uh, you know give a demo of what I talked. Okay, I'll stop sharing my screen. Okay, hello everybody. So this is Alexander with Auros. It's my pleasure being part of this event. Uh, and uh, well, I'm a bit lazy person, honestly. So I, I haven't prepared any PowerPoint presentation for today's, uh, but still I've got, I've got something to show you. And uh, uh, it's gonna be several, um, um, I want to do an online a live demo of several use cases uh, DJ mentioned in his uh, presentation. So uh, sharing the screen. Okay, so here is the website. Okay, the first use case I'd like to show is a kind of live live visual assistance on the website. Like, okay, imagine I'm a uh, I'm a customer. I'm surfing the, uh, the website. I'm, I'm learning about the product, about the services, about uh, company's offering, and I've got some question. I need some assistance. Probably I, I've got assistance to choose the right product. Probably I cannot find some useful info on the website. I need somebody to talk with. So to do that, I just click a button. Uh, I just selected type of my question and click call. So what actually happens is the call uh, goes directly to a contact center. It, uh, um, uh, the call then uh, is put into the certain queue. Uh, it finally reaches one of your uh, available, available agent and uh, we now can uh, talk, uh, we now can see each other with, uh, to increase trust and uh, to provide our interaction some personal touch. But not only that, uh, when assisting me as a client, the agent can instantly on the fly share some photos with me like it can be, uh, here's the coffee machine uh, we have, here we have another model uh, in another color. So all that stuff. Uh, if the product is uh, a complex one, uh, the sales rep can send me some technical specification for it, some documents uh, for uh, to examine later and uh, and other dogs. Uh, finally, uh, if I need assistance uh, with the website, uh, the agent can request a co-browsing uh, co session. And when I accept it, 
uh, the agent can see my screen actually and guide me through the website. Like I can ask, where can I find the uh, your contacts? And uh, if you see this yellow arrow, using this arrow, the agent just points me which links to click, which buttons to push, everything on the fly, and um, and everything is quite easy to use. So, uh, so the main thing is, uh, the main idea for that use case is to enrich a voice-only customer interaction with the web collaboration tools to provide the uh, client with visual info with docs with uh, help uh, on the website to provide all the info to help him make the decision faster okay so this was the first use case let me rate it as eight, nine okay <laughs> uh, another one uh, another one which is which was also mentioned uh, by DJ is a uh, live video shopping on the website. Okay, imagine again, I'm a customer, I'm an online shopper and uh, I'm, I'm surfing the online shop, I'm choosing the product and I, om I am almost ready to buy, but uh, to make the final decision, I would like to have some life, some real life feeling about the product. I want to see it live. I want to uh, see how it looks like in real life. I want to um, to see how easy uh, is to use it. So on the product page, I've got a button, see the product live, which helps me to do that. When clicked, again, I make a call, but this time the call doesn't go to a contact center, but it goes to a group of sales representative of sales guy in your physical shop. And uh, the, the, your sales guys uh, use a mobile application to receive video calls, to talk to me and to use the rear camera of a smartphone to show the product live, okay? So this way, the same sales staff uh, assists your real uh, visitors and online shoppers as well. So this is how the uh, virtual uh, showroom uh, can be placed on your website, okay? So this was another, another use case. So you can equip your website with uh, live video showroom option to allow your existing sales uh, staff to assist not only uh, visit visitors of physical stores, but to uh, but to sell to online shoppers as well. Okay, and uh, finally, the third use case I'd like to show. Um, let me. How do I finish the screen sharing? Okay, so the third use case. Uh, suppose again, I'm a customer. I'm a customer, but this time, I'm an I'm an existing customer, and uh, I purchased some product, and something went wrong. Okay, so. Uh, for some reason, the, the device doesn't work as expected. It's probably uh, broken or probably it's not configured probably anyway. I need assistance. Okay, I make a regular phone call to the support team, right? Uh, and I, I'm trying to describe my problem. But this time, if the uh, support engineer feels that he's better to take a look at the issue himself to understand better what's happening. So uh, he just says that, okay, Alexander, I'm gonna send you an SMS with unique link to video call me. 
okay? And show the, and show the issue. So, uh, okay, it, it, it's, it, it's not that easy to demo, but if I share the screen again, the way it works, so the uh, support uh, engineer uh, sends an SMS message with unique link. Uh, the client clicks the link, which launches uh, a mobile browser. And uh, the rear camera of smartphone is activated automatically. And the client is able to show the issue. It can be some issue with the device. It can be uh, some incident uh, happened with his car. So the climb adjuster can see it uh, through the camera of client's mobile phone and make some decision uh, right away. Um, well, as DJ said, there are much more uh, use cases for video in a contact center, for video in customer service. Uh, I have only shown uh, three of them. Uh, but uh, the point is that mm, video is now everywhere, okay? And uh, as lots of us uh, think that there are a number of ways to enhance uh, our daily life with it. So we got used to WhatsApp, we got used to Skype and whatever. So it's time to enrich customer service with video. And this is, this is how we do it. 